What do you need? Yeah, you need something? So, Sapphire, can I do anything for you? Or more to the point, to you? Vicar, the fleet. The only man who's foolish enough to name himself after his bedroom clothes. Stupid cow. If you don't know what you're missing. No, but I know that you're going to turn up missing if you keep up this kind of talk. I guess I have a minute. What do you want? Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in Whiterun's prison. How unfortunate for him. Exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important to the guild? Then this is beyond coincidence. First Arangoth. And now Sabjorn. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. Still have quite a good bit of jobs available, if you're looking for some extra coin. Out with it. Time is money. Here's your gold. Try not to spend it all in one place. Got more than you can handle. Sure, sure. We're always looking to get our hands on items from all over Skyrim. How about this one? Whatever. Just get it done. Here's the job. Looking for work? Still have quite a good bit of jobs available, if you're looking for some extra coin. Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. There you go. This should cover it. Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. I think you'll find this payment to be more than fair. Could I give you a little tip? Take every job you can get, or else you'll end up a beggar. Welcome to the cozy little family. I give special rates to members of the Thieves' Guild. Show me what you've got.
All right, then. Even if you're one of us, you better not make trouble. There you are. I've consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. Jest, but they've been able to avoid identification for years. They're obviously well-funded, driven, and patient. Just don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. Because even after all their posturing and planning, they have made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a gajal lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. His real name is Gullamai. Gullamai is our inside man at the East Empire Company in Solitude. I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there, shake him down, see what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions. is going on in this place. Yeah, I know what you mean. If things don't start getting better soon, I may look for work elsewhere. Hey, I still have a contact in Valenwood that may have some work for us. Need something? I'll keep that in mind. I can't believe Gullamai's mixed up in all this. That Argonian couldn't find his tail with both hands. Don't get me wrong. He could scam a beggar out of his last septum, but he's no mastermind. Trouble. <laughs> he's one of the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. You have your work cut out for you. You're going to have to buy him off. It's the only way to get his attention. If that fails, follow him and see what he's up to. If I know Gullamai, he's in way over his head, and you'll be able to use it as leverage. Aye, he does indeed. And with his fingers in the East Empire Company's pie, we'll make good use of that debt. If I'm not being clear enough, that means we don't want him killed. For now, just keep on his tail and he's bound to step into something he can't scrape off his boot. Gullamai works in the East Empire Company warehouse. He helps maintain all of the shipments of goods that goes in and out of solitude. That means he has the pick of the litter from some of the finest goods to grace Skyrim shores. He isn't exactly in the guild, but he pays us a cut of all the stuff he lifts from the warehouse. Just head right back to the guild and get the information to Mercer. Nothing else is more important. If you discover Gullam Eyes holding out on us and has more loot stashed away than he claims, we'd find that information quite valuable as well. There are thieves, and then there is Gullam Eye. No honor, no code at all. He'd shake your hand and stab you in the back at the same time. The cut he's supposed to provide the guild has dwindled as of late. He says pickings in the warehouse are slim, 
but I'm certain he's lying. Keep your eyes on him. He's quite crafty. Good luck in solitude. Keep Golomai alive. So, but remind the ending of my tale I began early. Is this your tale of single-handedly fighting off a pack of trolls, or my favorite? Have you betted four women on the same night? Well, if you don't want to hear it, that's your Let's loss. talk for a moment. If I wanted to hear a tall tale, I'd read a children's storybook. Get some better stories, Vipper. Back from what the did job, you need? Huh? Hope it went well. A mercantile group that has established ports all over Tamriel. They pretty much dominate the whole so, shipping industry. Sapphire. The Emperor Did himself I supposedly backs them, you? which means they have fairly unlimited resources. So don't get their feathers in a ruffle. The fleet. The only man who's foolish Good luck enough to name himself after his bedroom. Keep Golomai alive. You stupid cow. You don't know what you're missing. No, but I know that you're going to turn up missing if you keep up this kind of talk. Look, if I was a little harsh before, I just want you to know it's because you were new. Know what I mean? Look, I don't really know you. I don't even really know anyone here. Why do you care anyway? It's not like we're family. This is a business. Look, you want to know about me? All right, I'll tell you. I'll tell you about the time I was a young girl, barely out of her teens, living on a pig farm in the middle of nowhere. Didn't have a coin to spend between our entire family. Ate the same slop we fed our livestock. Oh, wait. It gets much better. How about the fact that our farm was attacked by bandits, and that they killed my entire family, who didn't even brandish a weapon against them? Here's the best part. They took me as a prize and violated me for a fortnight. Tossed me from bandit to bandit like... like... It's fine. I had to tell someone, I suppose. Carrying around a weight like that, it hurts after a while. Cuts you inside like a dagger to the heart. Over time, I managed to gain their confidence. Then one night I grabbed a knife, waited until they fell asleep, and cut their throats. I never returned to that pig farm, you know. There's nothing for me there. So that's my sad story. What do you think? Maybe one day. Just not today. Maybe I'll see you around the guild. Back from a job, huh? Hope it went well. <laughs>